I'm Bias Trades here and today we're going to be going over basic code examples. Um, this will mainly be towards stock data um, and then I will be talking a bit about the stock bot code. Um, but let's just get into the examples first and hopefully this will be useful to people that are trying to learn a code and show you kind of what's possible. Again, very, very easy example, you know. So first, this is just the first couple of lines. These are the couple of lines you will need if you are wanting to import data from any provider. Um, for this case, I'm using Polygon as they're quite accessible. Uh, I have used them for some projects, but I have moved on to, on to other ones. But for now, anyway, this is a great one for anyone that's like starting. Um, so yeah, for the first thing is just how to install Polygon. You do pip install Polygon API client. Um, pip is the Python install package. Um, uh, like controller, I guess that's the correct order, I think. Um, but it just helps you install different packages and libraries into Python very easily. So that's why it says pip. Uh, next is how to import the rest client library from the package. You just do from polygon import rest client, and this will allow you to do certain commands. Um, you know, you can look more into it if you want, but it's, these are just uh, necessary lines pretty much. And then date time library from the Python call, import date time, and then you're going to put your key so that you can use the, the data from there. Um, make sure not to show your API key to anyone else, but if you do, um, make sure to cancel it on the data provider website, like Polygon allows you to just cancel it very easily, so um, they can't use it. Because uh, it is, um, you, you can't give your API key to anyone else, so just make sure you don't do that. And then how to convert the uh, UNIX style date timestamps to normal UTC timestamps. Um, if you look into UN UNIX style timestamps, it's pretty much in milliseconds until the current date. Uh, so you just want to convert these. And this is a very easy function to convert that. So you can copy that over and this will allow you to uh, use, like see the correct date and not just in milliseconds, right? So this is a very good um, command. And if you're kind of learning Python, you'll be able to see that, you know, define the function, which is TS to date time. Uh, and then you'll kind of understand this part as well. But yeah, you can just copy this over. Next is open and date for one ticker. So I thought this is a great example just showing, uh, you know, how easy it is at least to just do for a very simple thing. So we're going to get the open and date for one ticker and we're going to print that out. So we are going to first, with the REST client as a client, um, use the ticker Apple, multiply one day, so it's a time span of a day and it's a one, from 2021, uh, January 1st, to 2021, December 31st. And unadjusted is false, so this means it's not adjusting for uh, stock splits or kind of like dividend stuff uh, as well. I'm pretty sure it's just stock splits, but it, there could be some other ones that I'm forgetting, but it, it's mainly that. And then we are using the DIR directory to look inside the response object. So this is just a very simple command. We're printing the uh, printing the results of that response. And then we're printing the first row of the response object. And now we're printing the open price for the first row. So the first row is open price. If you look on the Polygon um, documentation, you'll see that uh, O stands for open price. So that's why you're just printing out the first row of the open price. And then for print the date and open price uh, of the first row, it's a very similar thing. Um, you're doing the first row of T, which is the date. Um, the capital is something different. It's the ticker name. So make sure to use the lower uh, case T and then the same thing for the open, right? And now we're going to use the function to turn the UNIX star uh, date to the normal UTC. And we can see we're doing uh, the, the function TS to date time uh, on the date column, um, first row. And then we're also doing the open price uh, with no function because we don't need anything from it. And then we're just printing these uh, contents into separate rows and that's the code for that. So it's, it's a very easy example, but I think it shows you how powerful coding can be. And it's a very good starter thing. Um, this was, I, I believe, posted by uh, Day Trading Zero, I believe. Uh, and then I put in some of my own stuff into this. But uh, you can find other tutorials online of very simple stuff like this, or you can go into Code Academy and learn more in-depth stuff. Um, but this is a great starting point. So, you know, just some basic code examples to show you what's possible, how easy it is. Um, I think this is a great example. Now, this is one example of my code. So this is something a bit more complex, but still, it's, it's, it's not that it's not that hard to understand. Um, maybe it's hard to think up on the spot, but when just reading through it, I think it'll be quite self-explanatory. 
So to find the high of day and low of day times average, we're doing average high of day time, average low of day time, and we're getting the average, which is a function, which I called get average high of day and low of day times. And then we're doing this for the inputs of ticker and the gap theta. Now, this is a loop, so it's a for loop, and for every um, i in range, uh, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how I can sum that down. It's pretty much for every... Um, one thing in the range. So if I was going to say one to 10, uh, each number would be an I. Um, so it would be one and then two would be a different one and uh, like so forth. Um, and then we're using minute data, which we're using the client dot get uh, ag aggregates. And then we're doing the ticker one uh, and then using the minute data. And then going just through this, um, you know, it's not too difficult to do anyway. But then we're uh, only looking through 9.30 to close time. And then the high of day is the minute data at the highest. Um, and then we're locking this um, uh, as i and dot high. And then we're repeating this as it is a loop. Um, but I thought this would just be a good example to show. I'm not the best at explaining code right now, so I don't want to do anything too in depth. I'm still obviously learning myself, but um, this is just, I think, a very cool example, and I was very happy when this worked and I could just do it quite easily, um, as there aren't many just um, easy tutorials just to copy something like this if you just want the average high of day and low of day um, times. So I thought if anyone's stuck on something like this, then you can, you can see how loops are very useful in this case. Uh, and now I just wanted to go on to a small segment about the stock bar code as uh, some people have inquired of me of if I'm selling uh, the code in instead as I can't provide the data. And yeah, this is true for now anyway, um, until I figure out a more sustainable solution. But I think this is still very cool and I think it really helps the trading community be able to do uh, very thorough back tests quite easily and to get access to data for not ridiculously high prices. Um, so I will be just selling the code. There is no data um, provided in this, but you will run with your own data provide key. I can change the data provider um, for you, but we can message about that and I can tell you what I prefer and what ones I haven't ever worked with and what ones I have. Um, and then you'll be able to use your own uh, API key and just enter it into the code and then you'll be able to run it and pull all the data you would like. Um, the code does have sections of how long um, you can pull. So if you wanted longer, you could ask and I can implement it into the code if you wanted more time, um, but they are in segments. Um, so it's $250 for the code. Obviously you keep it forever. I can't, <laughs> can't take it away from you. Um, and this will just be to pull historical gap as over 20%. If you want some more custom comms, then you can, um, you can ask me and I can, we can talk about a, a charge of how complex it is. Uh, so one person requested, uh, resistance levels, semi-complex idea. So obviously I would charge extra for that. Um, and it will be 350 for all features. So that's all the things I pro provide currently in the stock bot, but you can keep them for yourself and you won't have to pay a monthly subscription. Uh, and this does include future ones. Um, the data provided key will not be provided. So just making sure it's very clear. Uh, you will need to buy your own. You can get cheap ones, you can get expensive ones. I don't really mind. I can definitely switch around to whatever you prefer. Um, and then it's flexible alternative for an affordable price. I think it's very cheap. It's a one-time purchase. You got to keep it forever. It means if you want to run it, you know, next year and pull more gappers from this year, totally could. Very easy to do. Um, but just please message me before purchase as this is a thing more one-on-one. -on -one. And I do have to see if it would work with your provider. Maybe it won't. Maybe I have to adjust things. Maybe it would cost more. Um, but most of the time, it should be a quite seamless transaction. Uh, but just please message me on Twitter, Discord, uh, or on YouTube if you are interested. So I hope this has been useful. I did want to provide some coding um, videos. Obviously, I'm not the best at coding currently, but I think as I get better, I do want to help people learn, um, learn in the trading, at least space for coding, as I think it's very useful. But thank you for watching.